With talks of the brand new Switch Lite, I wanted to make a video about the Switch. This handy dandy system. The Switch is awesome, but it kind of sucks a little. A lot. It sucks a lot, and this is why. The first problem with the Switch is its home screen. I see Nintendo's going for the insane asylum padded cell look. Let's be real. This home screen is blander than an Instagrammer's personality. There's absolutely zero Nintendo flair, and it makes me kind of sad. I can appreciate the simplicity, sure, but at least give us an option to have themes or something. They got two themes, basic black and basic white. They have this option set up like they're planning to add more themes, but it's been two years since the Switch came out. It can't be that hard to add more, can it? That 3DS has them. Why can't the Switch, Reggie? At the top, you have your profile. It displays the games you played and how long you played them. Why don't they just show all the games you played? Why do they have a cutoff? Why do they only give you a ballpark answer of how long you've played them? Why is Nintendo so fucking confusing? They have other stuff, too. Uh, let's just skip that. Here you can change your little icon thing. They could have gotten so creative with this stuff, but no. Just some generic icons. Enter me if you want it. At the bottom you have settings and stuff. You got news, which is news. You got the eShop, which I'll get to later. The album is cool. I was able to capture many beautiful moments with this feature. First of all, excuse my little cousin taking a million pictures with the stupid capture button, or when I accidentally press it because of my massive gamer thumbs. Some cool pictures I got on here is Wario, High AF Diddy Kong, Frustrated Donkey Kong. See, you should be able to use some of these pictures as your themes or something. I took some pretty cool ass pictures if I do say so myself. I took some pretty funny videos too, but like, why can't I take videos of games like Smash Bros where the capture button would actually come in handy? Why Nintendo? I'm starting to pick up a theme here. A theme of Nintendo being just the most confusing company. Another confusing thing about Nintendo is why they hid the Miis. How else am I supposed to make my masterpiece? Or Donald? It looks just like him. They don't have a hand slider though, so I can't make his hands small. Back to the home screen. Why can't you organize your icons? Why do I have to scroll through all of this shit just to get what I want? They also have games that aren't even in the console listed here. Why are they here if I can't even click on them? I mean, good thing Skyrim came to the Switch because I've been Elder Scrolling for 5 hours now. Oh, there it is. Uh, is this a ritual? Okay, I found this thing. I don't even know what it is, but I'm gonna use it. I don't need any items, I just need my trusty ball. Uh oh, so I lost here. Personally, I'm gonna blame it on the lag. Do you see all this lag, man? So if you wanna swing around like a motherfucking paraplegic Spider-Man, Spider-Man, far from the battle bus, you gotta play through bad graphics and terrible performance. Now I get it, who cares about Fortnite? Fortnite sucks, I hate Fortnite. But so many third party games run terribly on the Switch. Have you seen the new trailer for The Witcher 3? Or those NBA games? Or those wrestling games? I mean, the Switch struggles to run Minecraft. Okay, now let's talk about where you would get these games. The eShop. It's honestly sad that there's no music in the eShop. I remember jamming to that banger Wii Shop theme. In comparison, the eShop sounds like a ghost town. The UI itself is ugly and way too orange for my taste. The quality of the games on the eShop is terrible. Bubble Cats, that looks promising. Hey, only $3. Ziggert, mmm, looking like a knockoff of Wizard 101. I don't even know what the hell is going on here. Over here is looking like a DS game, wow. There's just so much shitty shovelware on the Switch, it is sad. Oh my god. You got some great deals. And over here you have coming soon. Uh, oh. Senran Kagura has transformed into a sexy pinball game? Starring a ninja girl who thinks she's an animal. Yep, you heard right. Music note? Feel every shake and bounce with the HD rumble feature? Dress up? Intimacy mode? $40? Okay, okay, Cory. No one buys the Switch for those weird ass games. We buy them for the Nintendo games. First party bliss. The games that are quality on the Switch are first party games. Only Nintendo understands their system enough to make a good game on it. At least, that's what it feels like. But a lot of these games are lacking in content. Take ARMS for example. It's a great game. I love it to death. But there's just so little to do in it. You have the Grand Prix mode. You got volleyball, basketball, a regular versus mode, and that's it. The characters are great, but wait, Thanos? Another game as bare bones as arms is Mario Tennis. Even more so, there's a versus mode, and that's it. Nothing else other than that and the story mode. The story should be good then, since there's only two modes, right? Nope, 
This is the most boring story mode I have ever seen in my life. It's like watching paint dry, except at least watching paint drying feels at least somewhat productive. Like the gameplay of Mario Tennis is so fun and refined, but there just isn't that much to do. Wow, this guy sucks. The other games on the Switch I'm not a fan of are these same kind of games. There's funky remakes, which are fine I guess, but games like Splatoon 2 hold no real individuality to them. If I put Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 1 side by side, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. It's so similar to Splatoon 1, it's sad. Ultimate is the same way. The amount of new characters and stages added is pretty... sad. Again, the game looks exactly like Smash 4. Even if the game does have Ridley, I'm still not a fan of its sameness to its predecessor. Ultimate also kind of sucks because of its online mode. Okay, don't look at my GSP. I could only afford online on one account, so me and my brother both use this account, okay? And it's like I get I suck, but look at this lag. And also, I didn't even choose this kind of stage. I picked Battlefield, and we're on a moving stage. What the heck? I shouldn't need to get an Ethernet cable to have stable matches, which I did get by the way, and I did use, but it didn't matter because other people don't use Ethernet cables, so it's still laggy. And it's like I could use arenas, which is fine, but like, no one uses arenas, and also, Nintendo should just have... Ah! What I'm trying to say is Nintendo has no excuse for this kind of online mode, bro. Why does ARMS have ranks and Smash Bros doesn't? Why is ARMS better than Smash Bros? What? I pay money for this online. It should be good. Or at least a little better than the free one that came with the Wii U. Call me mad because, well I am mad. I feel like Nintendo's ripping me off. I don't have it yet, but I heard Mario Maker's online is terrible as well. Mario Tennis had subpar online, so Toon still has those weird scheduled maps. Also, why is there no virtual console? Nintendo, seriously, that would be free money. You already made the game, why don't you let us buy it? Back to the Switch itself, the quality of this thing is pretty junky. The stand is as detached from my Switch as Steve Harvey is detached from the internet. I was introducing this uh, dude from uh, the uh, Fortnite. Tyler the Ninja Blevins, and I asked him what he did. Play video games. Playing these funky ass video games. Who's a gamer? Whenever I hold the Switch in handheld mode, I feel like my Joy-Cons are about to slide right off. And the Joy-Cons themselves are pretty bad. I have four Joy-Cons, and only one of them works properly. On one, you can't press in the left stick. One of them, the right bumper doesn't work at all. And finally, one of them will annoyingly make my left stick go on its own, which makes my character walk forward randomly. Do you know how many times I've died in Minecraft to this? FUCK! This pro controller has a right stick that gets stuck. But this one I don't blame Nintendo for. Let's just say my little brother doesn't take losing to Fortnite very well. As for the future of the Switch, it's not looking good. Pokemon Sword and Shield looks like a disaster. Have you seen those trees? They look like a dog took a shit and a tree grew out of it. The first console Pokemon game, and it looks almost no different from Pokemon Sun and Moon, which was on the 3DS. Not to mention Gigamax looks like a lazy, uninspired mechanic, and also not fun. Fighting tanks in JRPGs is not fun at all. Fire Emblem looks terrible too. It looks like Radiant Dawn, which was on the Wii. I watched the trios play it for a bit and it looked like Doki Doki Literature Club without the horror. I don't want to be a teacher in a Fire Emblem game. Now that this video is coming to a close, let's talk about the Switch Lite for a little bit. The Switch Lite is getting rid of Joy-Cons, and it's smaller and you can't hook it up to the TV. Is it really a Switch if you can't switch it from the TV to handheld? I don't know, do I look like a philosopher? Whatever the case, I can see why Nintendo made it. It's pretty inoffensive. The cost isn't that much lower, but some people would probably prefer it to the normal thing. A feature Switch Pro would be cool, but I'm broke, so I don't like to think about it. Wow, I'm finally done with that video. I feel like I came off as a total negative Nancy in this video, which I didn't mean to do. Most of my rants were kind of exaggerated for comedic effect, so don't take it the wrong way. In reality, I really do love the Switch. The fact that it works as a console and a handheld generally makes up for its graphical limitations. Games like Luigi's Mansion and Animal Crossing look absolutely banging too. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. As a new YouTuber, I use that number as a measure of success. I've been stuck at 6 subscribers for months now three of those coming from myself, so please make that number go up. Also, if you like the video, share with people who you think might like it. I mean, I made this video and this channel to make other people happy, so it'd be cool if it reaches a lot of people.